everyone, welcome back to Frenchie's Bakery. Today we are going to be making strawberry crumble bars. I love any type of crumble bar just because of the crumble on top. I think that like the crumble on top of crumble bars is so, so yummy. So I'm really excited to make these. I had some leftover strawberries just sitting in my fridge and I knew I wasn't gonna just eat them plain and be able to finish them in time before they went bad. So I was thinking like, what on earth could I make today that's gonna just be nice and tasty and I can share with my family and all of us can just have a nice treat today. So I decided to make some strawberry crumble bars. Normally I like cherry the best, but I had strawberries. So we'll see if these are good. I don't think I've ever had strawberry crumble bars before. It's kind of a tongue twister, so I'm taking things slow. <laughs> Go ahead and try it for yourself. It's a tongue twister. Uh, if you like this shirt, this is one of my new shirts. I don't think I've ever announced this on this channel. I think I'm gonna take one day where I can just chit chat with you guys on here and talk about my shirts and everything and how I came up with them and all that good stuff. But if you would like to purchase one of these, you can go to my website or in Chain Designs and I will link them. I'll try and link them up top. I'm not sure if you can do that. And then I will put them in the description box below. So you can go check them out. There's two other designs. So there's three shirts total. And I just, I love them so much. So there's my first little quick announcement of the shirt, but I definitely will want to do like a video and show you guys everything because I never talked about it on this channel before, which is you know kind of important because it's Frenchie's Bakery. But anyways, we will get into the crumble bar. So let me show you guys all of the ingredients. We're going to start over here and work our way down. Normally we go this way, but we're going to go backwards today. So in our mixing bowl here, I have a half a cup of sugar, one and a half cups of flour, one teaspoon of baking soda, and a fourth a teaspoon of salt. So all that is in this mixing bowl here. And then you're gonna need a cup, which is one stick, of cold butter. I have salted butter here. I love to use salted butter whenever I'm baking. It makes everything better. So make sure it's cold. It has to be cold, so make sure it came out of the refrigerator. You do not want room temperature for this dessert because it's gonna make the crumble very crumbly. And then you're gonna need a teaspoon of vanilla extract, one egg, two cups of freshly chopped strawberries. They look so good. One third cup of granulated sugar and two teaspoons of cornstarch. So this is all of our ingredients and now we're gonna start mixing them all together. You're gonna wanna preheat your oven to 375 degrees and I will zoom in the camera to show you guys how we're gonna mix all of this good stuff together. All right, so in our mixing bowl here with all the flour and the sugar and everything, I'm just gonna mix this together so it's evenly distributed because you definitely want your baking powder to be evenly distributed in any type of baking circumstance. And I have a fork here because we're gonna use this to mix in the butter. So here's our butter and we're just going to add this in and we're just going to mix this up until it becomes a crumbly, mixture so just keep on doing that until it becomes like pea sized and you can use your hands or fork so i'm just going to use a fork today all right now in our mixture here we are going to add in our one egg and our teaspoon of vanilla and i'm just going to mix it around with a fork and you just want it to be super crumbly dough so this is looking perfect here. You don't want it to be a smooth consistency at all. The whole point of being, that is the whole point of it being called a crumble bar. This is crumbly flour mixture. Now here I have an eight by eight inch baking pan with some parchment paper. And we are going to let the parchment paper hang over the side. So when we need to get the bar out after it's baked and everything, we can just slip it right out real easily and then Cut into a yummy strawberry bar. And I'm just gonna put on a glove so things are nice and a little bit mess free. And we're gonna take half of the dough and just push it onto the bottom of this baking pan. And now for our sugar and cornstarch, we're gonna put it here in this bowl and add in our strawberries. And we're just going to mix this all up and evenly coat our strawberries. Pour it into our baking dish here. Spread it out evenly. Now we're gonna take the rest of our dough and we are just going to crumble it on top and make sure it's a nice even coating of crumble. And we're just gonna put this all over the top of the strawberries. 
so much for wearing gloves earlier because now my hands have dough all over them. I didn't want to grab a second one because I am that lazy today. And then once you have this fully coated with crumble, you're gonna pop it into your 375 degree oven for roughly 35 to 45 minutes. It depends on your oven. Just keep an eye on it once the top starts to get golden brown. That is the color you will want. You can take it out, let it cool completely and then we will cut into our strawberry bars. All right, you guys, just like that, we have our strawberry crumble bar. These are so tasty. I did do a little taste test off camera. I couldn't help myself, and it is so, so yummy. It's a very delicate, light dessert. It's nothing too crazy. It's not overpowering with sweetness, so if you're not somebody that's obsessed with something being like super, super sweet, this is perfect for you. It would be great with a cup of coffee or some tea, and it's just a really, really nice dessert. So I'm very excited to have my grandmother have this because she's not like really, really into overpowering sweet stuff. So this should be perfect to fix her sweet tooth, but not too much, you know? So this is very yummy. It's a winner, I love it. I definitely love cherry better though, but this is definitely very good. And it was a great way to use my strawberries that were just gonna go bad in the fridge. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you all so, so much for watching and I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys.